Hello everyone, Stakuya here, and welcome back to the History of Everything podcast. Oh my god, I received like 50 different messages almost immediately in the last couple hours. I have been trying to get a lot of different filming done for different projects for both my gaming page and also my history page here. Because we are quite literally getting ready to leave to go to the airport in the next couple hours. And as we are preparing, as we are packing, as we are getting everything together, I get like 50 different messages that say, Stack, you need to check this out. There is a new trailer for a Napoleon Bonaparte movie. And I was like, what? I, I had no idea that anything like this was happening. Not only is it happening, but it's Joaquin Phoenix as Napoleon. Not gonna lie, just based off the immediate facial expressions and everything that we immediately see from this picture, the costumes, everything we can see here, it doesn't look cheap. It doesn't look bad at all. And I'm I, 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 I'm very curious about this. So I, I figured that what we could go ahead and do here today is take a look at the trailer, something that apparently just dropped like four or five hours ago. And I want to see what it is that they're going to be covering in this. Maybe even talk a little French history, maybe see what we can do here. I know I have the white here in the background. My wife is probably going to be horribly pissed off that I'm <laughs> that I'm using this here right now. Let's let's make sure that my green screen is 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 set. Is good? No. Okay. When I have the floating up, hold on. I need to fix this real quick. Okay, that looks a little better. Less blur. I'm seeing Egypt immediately in the background. Okay. Start from the beginning and let's go ahead and get this going. Crowning everything on fire. Okay. Apple original. Well, we know from the very beginning that they're starting everything with the French Revolution here, which naturally that begins the story of Napoleon itself. Seeing people from all different kinds of different classes gathered here together that are uh, looking forward to the beheading, I'm guessing. No doubt. No doubt you're sending chaos in the streets. Accents. Don't hear French must accents. Make an example. Our France will fall. Yep, there's the guillotine that I was talking about. What would you do if this assignment of defense was transferred to you? Oh, oh, yes, 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 yes. Okay, I'm liking what I'm seeing so far. For anyone who is not necessarily aware of it yet, Napoleon has a very mixed history when it comes to different things in France. Uh, one of the first assignments that he had was specifically to put down rioters in France. And specifically what it's talking about here, he's not charging in and beating people with swords. It's specifically showing him overlooking things with artillery because that's what he was. He was an artillery commander. And he's firing into the crowd. Okay, all, yeah, nope, nope, definitely real. Yeah, that is, uh, that is a hell of a way to start things off. And that's, yeah, 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 that, 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 that happened. I promise you brilliant successes. Okay, yep. And following him, Ridley Scott. Everyone, everyone around is French what is this costume you have on? This is what is with the hair? Am I am I am I am I being thrown off there for a second here? Just try like what, what? I don't think this is a very much a um a, a a 18th century hairstyle here, especially not with the the makeup and look here. This looks like something almost I would expect out of out of the 1990s, like uh like Blade Runner or something like that. This looks a little bit off, not gonna lie. This is my uniform. Oh, scaling the ladders in a siege. I'm not even sure what that is supposed to be depicting in here, but he is up himself fighting, and it looks like as a young man. I led the French victory at Toulon. Fighting as an artillery commander, naval, but oh my god, yes, it looks like it's having all kinds of different parts. Wait, actually, that's a good point. We already saw a French Revolution. And I'm guessing this is Napoleon's rise to power. How far exactly are we going to be going on this? What is your name? Napoleon. Has the course of my life just changed? Napoleon. Is she supposed to be Josephine or something? I'm okay, Egypt, for yes. But those in power will only see me as their sword. The French cavalry charge. I suggest you take the throne as a king. So it's going all the way to him seizing power. H how how long is this actually going to be? Because my question then is, how long is the movie? Because considering all the different events that we are seeing so far, if this movie is only like two hours or something like that, they're going to be moving through events at a lightning pace. I mean, we're talking the French Revolution in and of itself is something that is a is a massive tale and undertaking. And this is going to be taking place partway through that already with the rise of Napoleon in it. So how much are we going to skip is my question. On. Yep, Napoleon coming in, forcing a vote in order to Can be able vote? to be made emperor. Yep, no 
Okay, so that lady is gonna be Josephine here. This vermin has held the world hostage with his egotism and his lack of simple good manners. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, yeah. Showing, uh, showing Napoleon and the, um, some of the scandalous stuff that he was getting up to there. For anyone who is not aware, he and his wife, Josephine, had a li little bit of a love-hate relationship. I'm not even going to say necessarily hate, but they had a very tumultuous relationship in the sense that they loved each other, or rather that Napoleon loved her a lot, more so than she loved him initially, and she cheated on him, which then caused him to cheat on her a lot. But then over time, he, um, he definitely got very sexually active with a lot of different people. Yep, yep, see, exactly what I was going out. Pirate. Legend. You are just a tiny little bird that is nothing without me. Um, I'm, I'm wondering if that, being Josephine, is supposed to show some of the complexity of their relationship, but I, I, I don't know how far they're going to go, or even if they're going to show a lot of it or the sentiment between them. That's, that's, very, that, that's very complex. I'm loving the costumes and the core and the setting and all the different things that it's showing so far though nothing looks cheap nothing looks bad the accents are a little bit off in the sense that i don't actually hear any accents there it's a mix between american and british and i think i heard a couple others in there but it's like all the actors are speaking in their own dialect they're they're not they're not actually trying to put on a accent itself but the uniforms oh everything in here looks amazing Europe is mighty forces against me. What's the outcome of this if you don't succeed? Oh. Your Majesty, we are discovered. Wait. Good. Wait. Ice! Ice. I, wait, is this the battle it's of... It's a trap! It is. It is. It is. I know this. I recognize it. Okay. This... It has to be the Battle of Austerlitz. There wouldn't be another one that this is, right? Okay. Battle of Austerlitz regarded as, like, Napoleon's masterpiece, effectively. I at one point in time, though, wasn't it, hold on, wasn't it a cavalry charge that was going against him at that point? Oh, man, now I'm drawing a blank. I'm probably going to have to go back and do the history of it here just to remember. But specifically what ended up happening is that over this frozen pond, right, he ends up firing massive amounts of artillery into it. I'm the first right? thing that when I make a mistake. Fires? And it shatters the ice, sending the forces of the Russians plummeting into the frozen water. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. November 22nd. November 22nd. I am excited. Oh, my God, guys. I don't think that a war movie has come out necessarily that I have been interested in because it's not just a war movie because it's not covering just a specific battle. It, it, it is the rise of Napoleon. And I know at one point, hold on, if we go back in here. I saw the square formation, right? Where, there it was. Okay, hold on, hold on. So the fact that we're seeing the, the, the British hollow square means that this is going all the way until the Battle of Waterloo, right? So that means this, isn't, this is not just covering the rise of Napoleon. This should also be covering his fall, but obviously they're not going to just show that in the trailer necessarily, but I recognize the hollow square. That means that they're going to be covering it when he actually failed so again, how long is the movie going to be? Because we're talking about if 1793 going all the way until 1815, then we're talking at least a good 22 years. And that is a long time with many different battles, many different scenes, a lot of different politics, a lot of different everything, considering how big of a historical figure we're talking about here. That is a lot to cover in a, in a, in a movie. That is something that I would more so expect to see in something along the lines of like a Band of Brothers series, you know, where it's uh, like an HBO uh, six or seven part series, something along those lines. Or hell, I hate to say this considering what it is that I've been covering already, but but a Netflix special where it's like Cleopatra and it's done over the course of five episodes. Yeah, you, you know what I mean? Either way, the scope of what we are seeing here with battles, all of this, this is... With his egotism I am, I am, and his lack of simple good manners. I am loving that. The murkiness, the fog after firing all of the smoke that rises into the air, obscuring everything. The the utilization of cavalry as Napoleon specialized in. The artillery. I, it's not really showing as much of what he's doing here over the course of his battles, except for, of course, Austerlitz. But Napoleon was a master strategist when it came to artillery. There's a reason why it wasn't just line warfare of the previous generation. Now it was Napoleonic warfare and how that was utilized.
Guys, I, I, I'm excited. Um, when this movie comes out, I will more than likely do a review. If I can somehow obtain the ability to put up pictures and different things, explaining scenes or maybe pointing out where stuff is wrong or different features in it that are cool. If there's anything that you all think that you would like to see from it or history videos or, or, or things around this time period, then by all means, let me know because I am, I am pretty excited. Of course, doing a full episode on Napoleon and his rise to power is probably something that a lot of people have already done on YouTube, but if there's anything that you would like to see me do, then please let me know in the comment section below. I ask that you like, comment, and subscribe, and besides that, thank you all for your support of this channel. This is definitely a quicker video in comparison to anything else that I would be doing, but goodbye everyone, and I hope you have a good rest of your day. Man, I'm actually excited for this.